Hi, welcome to our video about adding positive and negative numbers. I want to point out first that although this seems basic and simple, this is the kind of errors that will trip us up while doing our homework in our math classes, even in algebra and calculus and beyond. I hope this math trick helps you like it did for me and other students. So let's get to it. When adding positive and negative numbers together, check to see which number is the highest and which one is the lowest. Take the lowest number and subtract it from the highest number. If the highest number is positive, then the answer is going to be positive. If the negative number is higher, then the answer will be negative. That might sound daunting and a lot for a math trick, but please bear with me. Once you start applying this to a number of equations, you'll see how easier and faster you'll be able to solve them. For example, let's try it on the equation below. Negative seven plus two. Let's see which one is the highest and which one is the lowest. Now for this step, we don't take into account the negative or positive signs in front of the number. It may sound confusing, but please keep watching and hopefully it becomes easier to understand. So seven is the highest and two is the lowest. We will subtract the lowest from the highest, seven minus two, and that gives us five. Now don't forget to add the negative sign in front of the five because the highest number was negative. So the answer to the equation, negative seven plus two equals negative five. Let's practice on some more equations, and this time we will move a bit faster. Feel free to pause the video at any moment if I'm moving too fast or if you wanna solve them on your own first and then check with the answers. Question number one, negative three plus nine. Nine is the highest and three is the lowest. Subtract the lowest from the highest and we get nine minus three. The answer is six. And since nine was a positive number, the answer is also positive. Question two, three plus negative nine. Nine is the highest and three is the lowest. We subtract the lowest from the highest, nine minus three equals six. But in this case, the highest number, neg nine, was a negative number. So this will make six a negative number. So our answer is negative six. Question number three, negative eight plus five. Eight is the highest, five is the lowest. We subtract eight minus five, and that gives us three. The highest number was a negative, so our answer is negative three. Question four, eight plus negative five. The highest number is eight, the lowest number is five. Eight minus five equals three. And since the highest number is positive, the answer is positive positive three. Question five, negative four plus 11. The highest number is 11, the lowest number is four. 11 minus four equals seven. Since the highest number is positive, the answer is positive seven. Question six. 4 plus negative 11. The highest number is 11, the lowest number 4. 11 minus 4 equals 7. The highest number is negative, so the answer is negative. Negative 7.